you guys uh, obviously got a lot of momentum going right now, especially the last three big wins in a row. And uh, just where are you guys at right now? I know you guys talk about building a tournament resume, you know, that, that, that sort of thing. Does that even come across your mind this early in the, uh, early in the year? Um, no, we just taking it each game one at a time, just trying to build our wins up. So we're not looking in the future right now. We're trying to take each game that we got coming up and try to win those games one at a time. Eric, how special has this year kind of been so far? Just, you know, after all that y'all been through, especially those first two years that both of y'all were here, uh, just how special is it to have a year like this where there's a lot of interest and a lot of buzz about this team? <clears throat> um, it feels good because, you know, as us coming in as freshmen, that, that was our mindset was to come to a program that, that we can change in the long run. And it's slowly getting there, you know, and we take um, part in that, and, I mean, it feels good. <laughs> Back to Joel. Q, it's been kind of unique this year. I think you just said a minute ago, it's the first time you've been in here since the, the thing's been turned around. It seemed like we used to talk to you a lot more. Now there's so many guys around you doing things and stuff. You're not the guy, you know, any, anymore. I mean, you're the leading scorer and a huge part of the team, but it seems like there's so many other parts around you. How fun is that to not... I don't know, maybe it's fun, too, to have a lot of pressure on your shoulders, but there's a lot of guys around you, too, now that, that can kind of help carry the load. Yeah, I mean, it's exciting just knowing that we got a team which it might not be my night, somebody else can step up this night. So just having a lot of people around you just take a lot of pressure off me just knowing I ain't just got to, like, force a lot of things, try to score the ball every night. That I can just take what the defense gives me because I know I got great players around me. Anything else for the players? Tyler, do you have anything? I'll go ahead and give it to Tyler. Obviously, it was a pretty emotional win. You, you guys can take this, whoever wants it. Uh, pretty emotional win against Cincinnati, and that's obviously a team that's probably going to be in the tournament. You know, Wofford might be a team that's going to be in the tournament too, but how hard is it to sort of collect yourself after what happened Saturday night and try to move on for tomorrow night's game? Eric, you want to go ahead and start with that? Um, I, I say, yeah, it's, it's definitely pretty hard, you know, just because of... Uh, that was a great win for us, you know, and we prepared really hard for it. But now it's, it's back to square one where we got to get ready for the next game, which is not a bad team. They're really good, like you said. They're a tournament team. So it's basically just enjoying the, the win, but also just getting back to business at the end of the day. Q, anything to add? Are you good? Perfect. <laughs> Go back to Joel. I'll bug you one more time, Q. Skipping this game, but you guys will get to play in Jackson on Saturday. How much does that mean to you when you get to go in front of, you know, place you kind of grew up around and stuff and get to play? Does it mean anything at all to you to, to be in Jackson and get to play a game like that? Oh, yeah, it means a lot just knowing that I get to go back close to home where a lot of my family can come watch me play. The people that don't get a chance to come and start really see me play. So just knowing going to Jackson, I played there multiple times and won three state championships in there. So. It's going to be exciting to go back and play again my last time. Perfect. Anything else for the players?